for this group of the course, I'm just going to kind of fire off a bunch of random lessons on things that probably should be on your radar without giving a complete, uh, long lesson on. It's just, it's just outside of the scope of what we're trying to do. Uh, the first thing I want to touch base on is Vagrant has a plugin system where you can actually extend the Vagrant file so that on Vagrant up, you can execute whatever code you want. You can write plugins. There's a ton of third-party options. Um, it's just a, overall like a really good experience for kind of automating more things. And what I mean by that is, if you remember, I create. I had to manually write supercool.local in my host file. That's nowhere to be found here. The only thing to be found here is my IP. So if I would go to my host file, just to reshow everybody, I said, hey, map, because I created this private IP, I mapped the domain to it separately outside of the Vagrant up process. Vagrant's all about automation. So maybe you could use the Vagrant host manager plugin to automate this. So you would just do Vagrant plugin, install host manager, read through all their different settings. And just to kind of summarize it in short, you know, you would just copy and paste their code. You would configure it special for however you have it set up. So our IP addresses are a little different than theirs. And, you know, we did super cool as our domain, whatever the, whatever the settings are, you would just modify it. And then on Vagrant up, this plugin will actually write to our host file for us. So we don't have to do that every time. On destroy, it would remove it, keeping it clean. Just a neat, neat little thing. There's a million different plugins out there. If you're interested, go check out the docs and uh, go dig through all the different options that you have available to you.